Okay, welcome everybody. This is Ken here with uh, Binary Pro Strategies. Okay, so before we get started here, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm going to start trading uh, my personal account in the live chat room on day 500. I've already reached uh, day 499. That is 499 of consecutive days trading live in front of my uh, students. That ends at day 500. Um, at day 500, also the price of the core strategy is going up. So right now I'm at 255. It will be going up to $700. So if you're interested, uh, I suggest you get in uh, before. Well, Monday is actually going to be day 500. So next week I will be raising uh, the price up to 700. I don't know. Probably maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday to give people ample time to get into it. But uh, the price is going up to $700. Uh, I've already pretty much proven my strategy. Uh, if somebody's not convinced after 500 days of consecutive trading, then the way I look at it, they're not going to be convinced. Uh, the intention was never for me to trade uh, in the chat room because it doesn't really do any good. Uh, just because I make money doesn't mean somebody else is going to make money. Uh, the purpose of my trading live is to demonstrate that my method does work. So I'm spending a lot more time now working my with working with my students in the chat room and helping them identify the setups, selecting the right strikes, managing their size and so forth. So that's the game plan. Uh, also moving forward, um, the only personal train I'm going to be doing will be on Thursday night uh, with the crystal ball. It is crystal ball night. I only trade for those that have purchased a crystal ball package. Uh, crystal ball, as some of you may or may not know, is, is my favorite method. Uh, but I will continue to trade, um, besides Thursday nights, or continue to trade the PAP and the Crystal Ball during my off hours. But only Crystal Ball will I continue to trade live with my Crystal Ball members on Thursday night. So that's where we are. Uh, also, uh, stay tuned. I want you to, uh, I have a new video coming out. I'm going to show you guys what I've been able to do with that small account challenge with the daily setup started with $500. I'm going to show you where I am with that account. Um, and I will be, as I move forward, I'm going to be doing a lot more focusing on the daily setups because I know everybody doesn't have the ability to uh, spend a couple hours a day trading these five minute setups, which by the way are my favorites. But uh, nonetheless, if you don't have that, that uh, ability or option to do that, then uh, you're going to like the daily setups because I'm using the same patterns that I use for my five minutes. And uh, you put them on at night and that's it. You let them expire. You don't put in stops. Don't have object objectives. You just put it on and you let it expire. And I'm going to show you what I've been able to do with my account um, trading, uh, trading those setups. So anyhow, that's it. We're going to go ahead and get into the um, this last week's uh, results. And uh, once again, this is all the way up to 499 and uh, coming Monday will be day 500 and uh, I'll continue to do these weekly updates. They just won't be showing my personal trading because I won't be doing it uh, in front of my students anymore. So anyhow, let's get to uh, this last week's update. All right, so here we are. We're going to do the update here for a week ending on uh, May 22nd, 2020. Uh, and I just completed day 499 out of 500. But before we get started here, I want to talk about a really important subject uh, we all experience and will continue to experience, and that's losses. So one of the things I've been stressing this week to my students is you have to look at losses as opportunities. Losses are nothing more than opportunities. And, uh, and I explain that to my students and why they're opportunities. But what tends to happen for most traders is that after they take a loss, and let's say they have uh, another trade right after that loss, is they're so frustrated with that loss that they can't think straight, and they can't pull the trigger and take that second trade. And so they get into this vicious cycle of loss after loss after loss, and they keep missing the good trades. So the thing is, is that that's one of the things that you have to, if you can't control that, I mean, you have to kind of, change your mindset. You have to reframe the way you look at things. You have to reframe. A lot of trading is reframing, right? We have to reframe the way we look at things such as overbought and oversold. Okay. You see a market is skyrocketing and you get a buy signal. Most traders think, oh, it's overbought. In reality, it's, there is no such thing. 
So you really have to change your mindset, and that also includes losses. You have to look at losses as opportunities, and you have to keep trading. you got to remember, this is a marathon. It takes time. Uh, you can't look at every little single trade and think, oh, my God, you know, everything is going to go down the tubes, which a lot of people do. They have a couple losses, and all of a sudden, they're throwing in the towel. You know, if if you can't trade and you can't get over that mentality, you really don't need to be trading because all you're going to do is end up losing money. And I'm just shooting. I'm just telling you the truth. And 98% of the people can't do it. I, well, first of all, 98% of the people are using the wrong tools. All right? So that's a big part of it. So... Uh, even if I was using the wrong tools, I couldn't make any money. And when I say wrong tools, I'm saying these indicators, the Bollinger Bands, the Stochastics, and all these things are not consistently profitable, folks. And you all know that. And anybody who's been trying to use it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. That's that's not the way that you trade. All right? That's the way the, that's the, way the majority of the public trades, and that's why 98% of them lose money. So <clears throat> what you have to do is you have to look at things differently. Okay, and that also includes losses. So look at your trades as a big group of trades, not not where are you at after one trade, you know, where are you at, at after 100 trades, 200 trades, right? That's the way you have to look at it. Um, so the lesson here is that when it comes to losses, reframe the way you look at losses. Look at losses as opportunities for us. We know losses or opportunities because we have the way that this, my the way that my setups are designed is they are designed to never have more than a single loss. So in other words, that means I shouldn't after I have a loss. It's rare that I have two losses in a row. That's just the way that this thing works. And so if I do have a loss, what does that tell me? That tells me that my next trade has very high probabilities of being a winning trade. And not only have I proven that in my own personal trading, but looking at my statistics, and I, I track everything, which everybody should be looking at, that has also proven out to be the case as well. So there's a lot more to that. But that being said, when you have a loss, look at it as an opportunity. We're all going to have losses. We're all going to get into the hole. We're all going to put size on at the wrong time. I do it. Others have done it. But the key is, do you have the ability to pull yourself out of that hole? And a lot of things, what happens, a lot of people, is they try to make it back too fast. Oh, my God, you know, I just lost $100, $200. They're ready to do a, you know, a five lot or whatever and make it all back. That's the wrong strategy. You want to slowly dig yourself out of a hole. Okay? In most cases, we're not in a hole. Most cases... We're going up, right? We're making money. We're green. But there are going to be times when you're going to start your day and you're just going to go in the hole. So what you do is you slowly work your way out of it. And if it takes all day, it takes all day. I mean, that's the reality of trading, okay? You've got to slowly work your way out of a hole. Not quickly, but slowly, all right? So that's being said, let's look at the stats. Um, let's go. Oh, that is not right. That 56% is not right. Let me see here. What did I do here? I had nine trades. Well, actually, I had eight out of nine, so... And I hit it 88, almost 89% on that. All right, so... Out of the gate, my first trades this week were 89%. All right? It was down quite a bit last week, as you, as you saw in that prior number. But anyway, back up to where I need to be. That's usually where I'm at. Somewhere between, usually anywhere between 80 to... Sometimes I have 100%. But I'm usually somewhere between uh, 85 and 90. So anyway, uh, first trade's out of the gate. What that means is that I'm not selective. I'm just taking whatever the first setup is in the four main pairs that I trade. And I'm taking that trade, and I'm still hitting 89%. That's why I'm able to hit an objective early in the morning. I always come in with an objective, and I like to hit my objective within the first uh, one to two hours. Usually, I'm going to hit my objective early with my first trade. And my first trade is not a winner then it's going to take me a little bit longer to, uh, to hit my objective. But I like to hit my objective within the first two to three hours. Usually before 11 o'clock Central Time, 12 o'clock Eastern, I like to hit my objective, and most of my students are able to do that as well. So uh, that's the beauty of it, because as you go into the afternoon, conditions of the market change a little bit, and they start picking up late, late, late in the afternoon, and then the evenings are always a really good time to trade. So 
anyway, um, 89% first trade out of the gate. I didn't have uh, any losing sessions this week. My stats uh, were really high this week. If you look at these are the naked signals. What this means is that if you just just traded every setup, just when I say naked, I mean not taking into account some of the other tools that I teach like EOM and, and the money management and other things that we look at. That if you just blindly traded every time it said to buy or to sell, you'd still be hitting it at a, in this case, with the uh, the morning session for the AUD USD, you'd be hitting at 76%. 70% on the euro, 70% on the pound, 78% on the US yen, because these are the four main pairs that I trade. Night session, look at that, same thing, 71, 77, 72, 88. What's really important about these numbers is number one is number the number of trades. All right, this isn't seventy six percent over two trades or three trades or whatever. Right, this is seventy six percent over eighty eight trades. And if you watched any of my other vi videos, you'll see that in the day session I'm typically getting okay. In the morning session I'm typically getting for a whole week I'm getting eighty eighty you know anywhere between seventy five eighty ninety trades. A week just for the morning session on the Aussie alone and that's real important because that shows consistency that's real important okay what you want to watch for is when you're looking at anybody's trading is you don't want to see some guy coming in and saying oh you know I made 100% last month and he made you know one trade or he made two trades or three trades that doesn't tell us anything at all but if you got a guy that made a hundred percent you know and he had 20 30 40 trades now that's what I'm interested in because that shows consistency. And that's what I've been able to do over these last 500 trading days. And so, um, you know, the record shows that what I'm teaching does work. My students don't work because they're making money. And the stats also prove out the fact. So that's why I'm quitting my personal trading at day 500. Because I'm going to focus more on getting everybody uh, to the point where I'm at. And focus a lot more on getting, reframing their way of thinking about the markets. Okay, so... A big part of this is the way you think about the markets, and I'm going to help them get into the right mindset and reframe the way they think about the winners, the way they think about their losses, and so forth. So, anyway, um, I am going to, um, I do have another video. It's going to be out this week, and probably for those that are on the email list, we'll get a link to that. If you're not, watch YouTube, and you will see a video on how I've done uh, over the last month or so with my uh, small little $500 account that I put on and trading just daily setups. It's a separate account. All I did is I traded the daily setups to see how well they've done and I'll show you those results. So be ready for that. Uh, if you're interested more or like to purchase the program, go to binaryprostrategies.com. You want to get in before next week. Like I said, it's going up to uh, $700. Even at $700, it's way undervalued. Okay, so uh, will I increase that at some point? Probably. Um, I just increased the price of the crystal ball. That will increase at some point down the road. I don't have dates, so don't ask me about that. I don't know when. Um, but right now, uh, next week, the price of the core package is going to go up. All right. Um, so besides that, you can also go to Instagram, and I will continue to do... Um, daily updates in Instagram if you're interested in that where I show an example of the chart one of the charts one of the pairs with some of the setups as well as um, the stats for that day you know what, what, what was the stats what were the what were the naked stats for that particular day so anyway um, that's pretty much it if you have any questions just go to binaryprostrategies.com and shoot me an email. That's really the best way to get a hold of me because during the day it's very hard for me to take phone calls. Uh, so always the best way to do it is to shoot me an email. Also, if you have questions, please try to keep them concise into one email. It's very hard when I'm getting five or six different emails from somebody. It's hard for me to get to everything. And it would help me by just think of all the questions you want to ask. Put them in a single email. And that way it would be a lot more efficient for me because I'm getting really busy. And I am pretty much a one-man shop. I've got one girl here that does pretty much all the emails, and that's pretty much it. So um, I'm a trader. 
all right and that's what I do so what I'm going to be doing a lot more is focusing on helping you become a better trader so that's kind of where we're at so that's it uh, I'll have my next weekly update next week watch for the update on my live trading this weekend as well and uh, until then hope everybody have a great trading week and we'll see you soon